Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Whitlings Prototype. This is episode number 33. We are going to be <clears throat> simplifying, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, the world flip today. Uh, previously, I talked about the idea of spinning it 180 degrees and rotating 180 degrees, but first of all, I think that's going to be disorienting. And I was thinking about it on the bus, and we really don't need that, that extra flip. We can just do a 180 degree rotate around. Um, ow! Thunderbutt, hey now. I was gonna introduce our mascot Thunderbutt, but she's feeling a little bit toothy today, huh? Okay. So, right, <clears throat> all I wanna do is flip it 180 degrees, and for now, just flip it back. Um, I can totally want to absolutely delete this crazy double double arc that we had going, double E's. So let's do that first. Deleting code feels good. So now that that's out of the way, what is next? Let's see. <clears throat> Well, let's take a look at what's happening now. I have a feeling, oh, flip spin easer. Anywhere else? I don't think anywhere else. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's change our camera. We don't want that. We want this. And you can see that <clears throat> halfway through, if we watch the transform here, kind of hard to see. Oh. Oh, ah, see, we're getting a flip in there, and I don't want that flip. So how can we not use that flip? <clears throat> we want to preserve the camera's axis. And that's really tricky <clears throat> when you're rotating a vector or you're rotating a quaternion by 180 degrees. Because the way it works internally, um, it's supposed to reduce a thing called gimbal lock, or not reduce, completely get rid of gimbal lock. <clears throat> um, but let's see. So the idea is, did it ever work correctly? I thought I saw it work correctly once. No. <clears throat> it's going to look so cool if we can get it not to flip. Um, but let's see. <clears throat> We do have, let's double check the code. How is this working currently? So I'm taking my camera transform and I'm rotating it and calculating the begin and end. And this is a quaternion. <clears throat> You know what's interesting, it's that the this quaternion is the forward of our where we want to push the camera out to. And does the right, which will be the red, yeah, you can see that the right flips around halfway through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to always make, 
just going to make a new rotation. Instead of setting this rotation here, let's do quaternion. Um, temp rotation. <clears throat> and then what we want to do is calculate the new rotation based on forward and right. So camera offset transform dot rotation equals quaternion dot look rotation. <clears throat> and we've got the forward. And it needs an upwards as well. So I'm going to give it temp rotation. Oh, shoot. Vector 3 forward. I am not sure that if I do vec temp rotation Euler, <clears throat> that it's going to be happy about this. Yeah, we want a full. OK, so let's do this. Let's do the slurp. Oh, but I think that this slurp is going to automatically flip the flip it for us anyway. Let's let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> so camera offset transform rotation. I want you to equal quaternion with dot forward and then we're going to vector three cross. Um, camera offset transform forward and camera offset transform right. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to change anything. Oh, quaternion dot look. There we go. <clears throat> because I do believe that this quaternion slurp is going to. Oh, you know what? Well, let's test this. Always change and change one thing and test. See if it works. If you change three things, uh, testing that is not going to be a fun time. <clears throat> so we still got our flips. Okay. Let's try a lerp. And let's comment this out. Dang it. So our forward is always staying the same. This is our main camera. Let's watch our camera offset transform. So this is the one that we're changing. And you know what's interesting is this is this is always staying the right way. <clears throat> This is correct. I'm kind of annoyed by that quick half second where you can see the that the offset transform sort of teleports for one frame and then jumps back. I'm going to get rid of that pretty quickly. Oh. 
Wait, what? <laughs> Can I get rid of all of this? And then rotate it back. Nice, okay. <clears throat> so our offset transform is correct. I think we're going to need to do, let's see, when does the camera swap? Oops. Oh. Interesting. So it swaps when it... It looks like it swaps when it passes over the cube. So when it goes to the other side of the cube, <clears throat> the cross product that we're calculating or that's being calculated by the engine is changing directions. Let's try that again. So, ah, too slow. Let's slow this transition down a lot. Five. So let's look at it from here. Nice, yeah. So you can see that it's, well, it basically just went over the line, and so the, ah, oh, that looks so good on the background. I just need to get this math working. Rotations! Always tricky stuff. <clears throat> So let's see. I could try drawing a line. Um, use our camera offset transform. Oh, did that flip directions too? No, just flipped the drawing of the movement cubes. <sighs> you know what it might be? Hold on, let's watch the camera. Does the camera actually jump positions? Or does it just change its orientation? It just changes its orientation. Okay, that's good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, this got rid of the temporary blip that we were seeing in the editor. Not quite necessary, but it's always good. If you see something looking weird, fix it, because it could cascade into problems later. So where could the problem be? Let's think about that. What code? It's got to be this, right? No, it's not this. This is fine. 
because we've watched the camera offset transform. And that does its job. So maybe it's this calculate camera offset direction. <clears throat> Forward and up. We normalize and then we multiply by the start distance. So this forward and up, these are always staying the same. Forward and up. So we're adding those two together, dividing by two, normalizing it to get the 45 degree sort of isometric angle that we're that we desire. Let's try drawing a line for the camera offset transform. Draw a line. And we want to draw it from target dot position to target dot position plus camera offset direction times distance. Whoa. Current distance. Huh. Target distance. Color dot blue, 10 seconds. And I definitely don't want to do that here. <laughs> I want to do it in the ease after we calculate. <clears throat> it's this look at. That's what's doing it. I think that's, I think it's the look at. Let's just double check. Let's double test again. Yep, that looks correct. That is, let's watch the camera move along it. That's going to be cool. A little bit bizarre. Oh, uh, we must not have normalized the... Camera offset direction. Oh, we have already normal. We've already put this in the terms of distance. Okay, okay, okay. One more time. Yeah, much better. Okay. I have determined it must be the look at. Must be. So instead of letting Unity do our look at, because this is a, we're going to set the rotation of the camera. We're going to build the rotation of the camera. And it's going to be negative camera offset transform dot forward. And then we're going to cross again negative forward with camera offset transform dot right. Whoa! I was way wrong. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I guess that's true.
let's not use the forward of this. Let's use the camera offset direction. Because that's what we want, really. I'm not sure if this needs to be normalized or not. Totally opposite. I'm happy. I'm getting... I think we're closer. So this is working after the first time. We can get rid of this print. We don't need this curve output anymore. Still doesn't look great. What happens that first time? And on the first time, where else are we using look at? Camera offset direction. Okay. Anywhere else? Rotator. I'm not too happy about that. Let's do this everywhere. Just completely kill a look at. And you can see something really goofy is happening. Up is wrong! Okay, so let's cross them the other way. Oh, geez. Let's just... Camera offset transform up. <laughs> Let's try that. Uh oh, we need to do that everywhere. Here, and then one more time in awake. Here. Let's see how this goes. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so my rotate is backwards on the bottom side. These still work fine on the top side. And they're super broken on the bottom side. Oh. Here they're fine. Oh. They work after one rotation of the camera. Oh, that looks good though. That looks great. How are we doing on time? 30 minutes. Nope, not even. Wow. Okay. So let's make a list of things that are broken and fix them one at a time. So let's see, um, bottom side, 
cam rotation is opposite. And also in the bottom side, before horizontal rotation, cube spinning is wrong. I guess we could add here that down isn't implemented yet. I've only been doing up. I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with that in the game. So let's think about what's happening in this camera rotation. Rotator, calculate cube. Rotate direction transform. Ooh, hold on, that's actually in the cube controller. So we're doing the rotate right for W and S. Let's watch that. Cube rotate direction transform. So right, yep, that's correct. And then I spin. Right, okay. What happens when I flip? Nothing happens when I flip. Boom! That's it. Do 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 do. Camera controller. Here's where we flip. Mm, I don't think we want to calculate this. Q rotate direction transform. Update the transform. That is referenced during cube rotation. Boom. Flippity doo da. Right? Interesting. So it's going negative right. Maybe I should rotate along the Z for that. Oh, geez. I don't know how I feel about all this. <laughs> this could be... I mean, if it works, I would be shocked. Yeah, that's interesting. <clears throat> when we're flipped over, it's almost like we're changing 90 degrees on like this axis. Hmm. So maybe we don't want to, I think in this case, it's not really this, here comes some, um, oh, there's definitely a word for this, where you 
to convince yourself that what you're doing is right, and you spend a lot of energy convincing yourself that it's right. But we only have two camera positions above and below. And we know that when the camera is below, we're going to be rotating along different axes. So I think in a controlled design setting like this, what we could do is just use a conditional. Just say if the camera, you know, transform is pointing up, then we use this left or right and forward, and if it's down, we use forward and right. Does our rotate direction transform? Hmm. Input get key. If the selected cube is not null. And so what we could do, I don't know if I want to do conditions inside all four of these. I don't think that's very pretty. I could collapse this into a function that takes a key code, a direction, and an amount. And then we could use a ternary operator to pass the right. Well, it would have to be two ternary operators. That gets a little bit messy. Does our cube controller know about our... I don't think it knows about our camera offset transform. Let's make that happen. I think that'll make life a lot easier. Camera offset transform. Let's apply the changes to the prefab. To do clean this up if it works. I have to keep telling myself it's a prototype. Solve the problem at hand. If the uh, transform of some sort rotate direction transform, that's not the one. Camera offset transform dot up equals vector three dot up. It's down, and we're going to do something else. I'm just going to guess forward here. Else debug log error camera offset transform is no longer aligned to primary axes. So this only works with W. I'm gonna test it first. Let's see what happens here. Looking good, didn't break anything. Spin me round. Oh, wait. I believe it should be this way, or with the mouse this way. Let's spin back. Yes, W is up and to the left on the screen. So, forward negative 90. Let's do some copy pasta. I apologize to all of my teachers and students for this shameful display. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so if it's up, we do right, negative 90. If it's down, we'll do forward 90. That seems correct. If it's up, we do forward negative 90. If it's down, we do right 90. And here we do forward 90. No. Oh. Yes, that's correct. And here we do right negative 90. <clears throat> we didn't get any warnings or errors. That makes me very happy. Boom, 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 boom. Those are correct. Mm, 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 mm. So forward and back work fine on the bottom side. Let's try spinning around. Oh, geez. Uh-oh. We've done something quite bad here. Let's put this back here just in case we decide to undo all of this terrible work. Well, it's not terrible, it's exploratory. So let's just make sure that everything on the top is working fine. Up, right, down, left, spin, up. Down, left, spin twice, up, right, down, left, okay. So now we flip. Let's take a look at the camera offset transform. Oh. I think this might have something to do with our rotate. Um, that we added in here. You know, if we are just doing a condition there, then we don't actually need to flip that over back and forth. As we've seen, flipping it over can sometimes make bad things happen. Up. Right, down, left. Oh, yeah, let's spin it up. Oh! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Those are wrong. These are all wrong. Let's try it with the rotate. So here's our cube rotation. Let's put our camera where our camera is. OK. So here we're rotating along the right by 90. This is W, along the right by 90. Okay. So spinning it around doesn't corrupt anything. Spinning it around this way doesn't corrupt anything. What about the flip? I think we should be flipping back on the X again, not the Z. Because I still want my... <sighs> Dang. 
Oh, hey, not what I want. So W and S are backwards now. I am okay with that. How about now? It's totally wrong. Oh, spinning it. Yeah, I think spinning it's moving it the opposite direction. I'm afraid this is one of the points that you are always going to hit when you're writing code or making games. <clears throat> There's a lot of things happening, and you're really just not sure. So the goal is to test the smallest thing possible, see if you can predict what the outcome is going to be, and the better you get at predicting, the more you understand the problem space. And once you understand a problem space completely, then you can write a solution. So right now, just sort of testing. So let's see, flipping this. So that means my camera is over, oh, it's down here. Let's go look at that from this direction. Oh, but the camera is totally upside down. Where is our cube rotate direction transform? So my forward should be negative 90 around forward, right? And that is correct. Which means that my back should be positive 90 around the forward which is also right. And that means my D, which is to the right, should be, I think it's positive around the right, which it is. Okay. So when we flip the world over, everything is good. Let's see what happens when we spin it to the left. Whoa. No, that looks correct to me. And now it's wrong. I think it has to do with the flip. When it comes to the flip, rotating 90 degrees in one direction is different from rotating 90 degrees in the other. So I'm if I'm pressing the right arrow, this blue forward is going counterclockwise. But now if I'm pressing the right arrow, the blue is going counterclockwise.
Let's go into our rotate code. Right arrow. I'm going to say if we need a ternary operator here, camera offset transform dot up equals vector three dot up. I want to return negative 90, otherwise 90. And here we're going to swap them. To the right works happily, the left works happily. Let's do a flip. Hey. Okay, well, at least now we're spinning the thing the right way. Is there anything else we have to spin here? This could be the problem here. But I think if I just do a flip, it's happy. How about if I do a rotate, then a flip? happy. But if I rotate after the flip, it breaks. Rotate after the flip. That is it. <clears throat> Let's look at the rotator easer update. Hmm. I feel like I had it. I thought I thought I had nailed down where the problem was, and I go and look at this code, and it's gone. Where could you be? So the idea is when we're flipped over. And we rotate a thing around. We're not rotating the Where do we call that giant function? Camera offset direction. Where is this guy get called? On begin ease. So I do believe it's this calculation of relative forward and relative left. What am I doing here? Oh. Wait, what? This happens in begin rotate. 
Is this the only place that we use this? It is. Where did we have that conditional thing here? Here. I think that we can just rotate this guy around its up. By 90 or negative 90. <laughs> okay, well, now W is going this way. But if I flip it over, now it's going this way. And if I rotate, now it's going this way. This way. This way. <laughs> this way. I tried to predict. It didn't work. <clears throat> okay, so we must have done this for a reason. Okay, that's right. We were using the camera offset transforms forward and right. Forward and right, why would that make relative left? I guess the idea was that the level started over here, and this was the way I wanted it to go when I pressed left. Yeah, sure. But this is getting flipped over when we go to the bottom side. So if it's getting flipped over, I do believe we have to rotate the other way. Well, let's try it. So if the camera offset is facing downwards, let's take the relative left and multiply it by negative one. Hey, how's it going, shifter's nose? Yeah, this is my rotation foo is not that good. And then we do a flip. Okay, okay, looking good. Now the big test, rotate. Damn it. Oh, wait, that's negative though. Hmm. Is it bad in the same way? Now it's worse, okay. Let's see, so this is my camera offset transform. This is the one I used to build everything. Let's watch it again. So relative left is this way. Boom, boom, boom. And now when I flip, Our camera is down here and upside down. 
Uh, over here. And so now, I want left to be going up this way. which is real bad. Because that actually has very little... What happens... So... Oh, this is so tricky to to look at one of them's upside down. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see, <clears throat> relative left is white, and relative forward is cyan. Let's make those bigger, bolder colors. Um, Black is left and red is forward. Black is not a great color for this screen. <clears throat> Whoa. Whoa, hey. Red is forward. Okay. Cool. Now let's flip it. Interesting, it's not... That can't be right. Hmm... <clears throat> <laughs> So this is my rotate direction transform. And this is what I'm using to spin items. Blue is forward, red is right. Boom. Blue is forward, red is right. Okay. But now when I flip it, first of all, nothing happens. That seems weird to me. Now forward should be the way that this thing is curving. So forward should be negative ninety degree rotation around the z axis.
Here's forward. Camera transform is down. Negative 90 around forward. Right. So it works fine until we spin it. Oh. That spin flipped this. So normally it's up, and even when I flip the world over, it's still working fine until I spin the camera horizontally. And then it borks this this up vector here. It's probably my fault. I do believe I was modifying that just for testing. Even then, um, let's just rotate around vector three up. I'm really close. I feel like once I've got this, this will be, I'll be most of my camera work will be done. So let's see. All of my directions are wrong, but they're 100% consistent on the top. Backwards. I might have gotten it. Now you can see our cube rotate direction transform. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I don't quite think it's there yet. But that is my hour for today. Thanks for hanging out a little bit, Shifter's Nose. Um, do you have any questions before I log off? I usually spend about an hour a day doing this. Uh, this is day 33, so hmm. a little more than 30 hours. Not a lot of time. Just making a prototype. Maybe he's not even here. Let's see. Oh, oh unavailable. Hmm. OK. Well, if you don't have any questions, um, Feel free to subscribe and come hang out some more. If you program or stream any coding, I'd love to come check it out. But I hope everyone has a nice day and that their projects go well. I'll see you tomorrow.